She doesn't understand at all. How can I help someone like that? Well, when Mr. Uh, Jeff Wexler called me, he asked me if I would consider uh, being a voice in a Studio Ghibli film. I was speechless. Um, <laughs> being a voice in a Studio Ghibli film is, has literally been on my bucket list. I am such a Studio Ghibli fan. I um, just jumped at the chance. And uh, like I said, it's just truly an honor to be in a Studio Ghibli film, especially only yesterday. You can't be serious, mother! I play Yaiko, which is Taiko's older sister. She's the middle sister. Um, and you know, classic middle child, usually a little bit snarky. I think she's actually a really sweet girl. Um, she's just a typical teenager. Only Yesterday is 25 years old, and um, one may think, how is it going to appeal to kids today? But when a story is written well, um, it should appeal to any generation. The one theme in the film that really speaks to me is that you never stop growing. Uh, you know, Taiko, we watch her, you know, go through a transition as an adolescent, but then also um, in her adulthood. And it's something I feel like I am even going through right now. You feel like you never stop learning. You never stop growing. Recently, in the past couple years, I started my own business and uh, we have the honor of making merchandise for Studio Ghibli with Hot Topic. I think the stars have aligned on this one, and it's a really special opportunity. It's, it's really cool to be working with Hot Topic and Studio Ghibli. That's right, and that's her best grade yet. Well, the approach and process when um, you are recording the voice for an animated character, you just go through and record your lines one by one. Um, oftentimes, you're in the studio by yourself. Uh, you're not with the rest of the cast. So that's something that's different uh, in voice acting versus live action is you usually get to meet the cast at the premiere. It's really exciting. You know, you shake hands and you're like, hi, nice to meet you. I was your sister. <laughs> oh, what, what on earth is this? How am I supposed to help her? Super sweet, that was really cool. I think, you know, the biggest misconception about live action versus voiceover is that a lot of people think that um, voice acting isn't acting. You know, you need to give the same performance. So I, I don't think there's a difference in terms of my performance. It's really just a difference in technique. Oh, well, that was a letdown. Mm. You know what's funny is I'm actually one of three girls in my family, and I'm actually the oldest, like Nanako. Um, and my middle sister is more like Yaiko. But I, I remember growing up um, that my sisters and I, we, we fought just like any sisters do. Except my sister, my middle sister, is a lot nicer than Yaiko is. Get out! Don't you know how to knock? You know, the story changes when it's in hand-drawn and hand-painted animation. To me, it just becomes a work of art. You know, a, a film like Only Yesterday really could be done in live action. I mean, it's such a realistic story, but to see it hand-drawn and um, hand-painted animation, I mean, it's just something that, as a fan, makes Studio Ghibli so great. Uh, it, it's so beautiful, and you just realize that you're a small part of a, of a true piece of art. It just really is a dream come true to be a voice in a Studio Ghibli film.